All right, it's October 26. Uh, 7.20 a.m. Just starting to break daylight here. Real frosty morning. Probably one of the coldest mornings yet this year. I'm set up on a little hilltop here. Just a stubble field. Well, the hillside is stubble and they bed in this. Actually, buck. I uh, jumped the buck. Probably only. Well, I planned to sit here, and he was probably only 50 yards, maybe 40 from this spot. There's a cornfield behind me, and it's just a big transition area. There's a big uh, blotch of pines over to the east. Wind's blowing out to the south the way I came in, so. That deer blew a couple times at me. I hope he didn't blow this hunt, but you never know. Haven't been having much luck lately. Uh, we've been out a few times. We've seen a few deer, got, got a couple on film. But uh, yeah, it's almost November. Things just start heating up here. Gonna sit the morning out here, just on the ground. Got the ghillie suit. I got this thing right here. It's Raven R26. Um, still gotta break it in. I probably I probably won't take any uh, any does if I get the chance today. So it's kind of a bucks only kind of morning. Feels good though, I brought the rattle bag, I brought the grunt tube, so I'll do some calling and see what happens. Got a decent buck down in front of me here. He's only a 160. Looks like he's kind of working to the east. He's, he must be working a scrape. He's been standing there for a while. I hit the I hit the rattling horns before I seen him. I don't know if that got him on his feet or what. You definitely can hear me though. I'm just, if he keeps working east, I gotta cut back to this, this little hilltop, try and cut him off. We'll see what happens. I forgot my binoculars. All I got is the camera and the rangefinder. Right, I came back to the hilltop. He was moving to the east here. I'm gonna try and cut him off. He's going towards these little willows down here. I was through there the other day. It was all scraped up. Right, that buck didn't come to that that main path like I thought he was. I got to 80 yards from that path. If he would have took that route, it would have been a shot. He cut into that little chunk of hardwoods. He's going over to these pines to the east that I talked about. So I'm gonna try and cut him off again. This 
five after nine. I tried to sneak around on that buck. I'm not sure if he, I know he didn't hear me, didn't see me. I got, a, got away clean. I think he might have crossed the road because there's no way he beat me over here. Like, I've been sitting here for almost 45 minutes now. He should have just, PC walked in, that's probably only an acre. Been doing some light grunts, nothing. So he either crossed or he kind of stayed back there. I lost sight of him walking into here. So if when I originally first seen him, I should have made that move that I did make, but I should have made it as soon as I seen him. I could have got in deeper, about another 80 yards, and he probably would have only been 50. But I might uh, start making my way out now. I got the, there's some pine trees. Some pines back in behind me. And there's a little like bowl in the field. So I'll sneak up there and see if there's anything out in the field. But uh, I think I'm gonna throw a video together here just to start the season, deer season off. We have been out. We have just, when you're trying to film your hunts, it's a different game. We got some decent footage here and there, so this will just be a short video. Like I said, you live and you learn. I should have moved quicker on that buck, I guess. It was a good morning. There's still some frost on the ground, but it's melting, so I should be able to sneak around in here a little bit. It wasn't a monster buck, but he was the shooter. I brought a trail camera. I hung one up in here and it, uh, it took some pictures. And then it, uh, something, it stopped working all of October. And that scrape was pretty active. So I might hang a camera up on there then get out of here. But uh, yeah, this will be the first video, I guess. November is only a week away. Alright, we'll see you in the next one if nothing else happens here. Alright, it's still the 26th of October. Had a pretty eventful hunt this morning. Had that one buck come in and I couldn't get a shot. At a different spot this evening. It's only 10 after 4. Got a couple hours of daylight left. It's gonna sit the evening out here. Anything comes through and gives me, a, presents me a shot, I'm gonna take it, so. Fingers crossed that we get some action here. This is actually Jordan's tree stand. He said I could come and sit here for the evening, so. He hung this a couple days. He put a camera in here. Got some deer on camera just before dark, so. He's got a mock scrape right there in front of the camera and they were hitting that scrape. Had a big cold front this morning, so anything can happen. Stay tuned.
Right, it's only 10 after 5. It's starting to rain. And I checked the weather and it's really supposed to come down in about an hour. I think I'm just going to pack up and get on the trail of this deer here. Alright, it's 2 o'clock the next day after I shot that little buck back here. Me and Jeb came and uh, came and looked for him. Me and Jordan looked for him last night and it was 20 minutes after the shot it started raining. So I put the camera gear away, got down right away and I slowly started to track him. Jordan came, then nighttime came and uh, we probably tracked him for about 200 yards. And the blood was decent, but I noticed there was starting to be some blood clots in there. He was starting to clot up. And after I watched the footage back, it was a shoulder shot at 20 yards. And I wasn't gonna like you can you I could have just threw this footage away and not threw it in the video, but like it's, this this happens. And we tracked him. I don't know for about four or five hours last night. Pissing down rain, so we backed out. You know, we came back this morning, and we've been going at it for over three hours now. So it was real windy last night. All kinds of leaves fell down, and it rained. So the blood trail was impossible to find. The only way you could probably find him would be to bring a dog in, but we don't have that. So the arrow went in about five and a half inches at best. I don't know. Like it's hit or miss really when you hit him in the shoulder and the broad had actually like broke off so I don't know if it broke off as soon as it hit the shoulder and then just the shaft went in or if it actually cut like that broad had actually went in and did some damage I guess we'll never know Jordan's got a camera still here so if he shows back up on camera then I guess he's all right but we grid searched for a while got soaked again but you gotta know when to call it quits, I guess. That's hunting. That's why it's called hunting and not killing. So, we're trying to get some deer. It's the, yesterday was the 26th, it's the 27th, Sunday. I don't know. Maybe we'll go out this evening, but I don't, I doubt it. Like, kinda sucks when you shoot a deer and you can't find it. But, it's the way it goes, so. Me and Jubber are going to get out of here and grab a coffee. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video.